As hell divers, our backs were against the wall. Angel's venture needed defending, and our time was limited. We only had 24 hours to save the planet from the terminate swarm. If we failed, well, Lady Liberty herself would shed a tear for the lack of managed democracy brought to such a beautiful planet. So I teamed up with Cooley from the Discord and decided to march forth into the great unknown with the help of some randoms who actually knew what they're doing. Our first mission was simple, eradicate the Terminids. 175 bugs, that's doable, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's Let me tell you, no matter how many emergence holes they brought up, we made quick work of those bugs. Next, we had to retrieve some essential personnel. God, I hate this one. <laughs> the essential thing about these personnel missions is that you want to complete them as soon as possible. If you let the mission drag on, enemy attacks become stronger and stronger. You'll see what I mean towards the end of this video. One of the most difficult terminates to fight would have to be the chargers. Uh, recently I saw something about chargers where like you don't need like dodge away from them. Yeah, you oh, can just no. run just before out of my thing. Oh, yeah, like the training radius isn't fast enough. I'll try it out. <laughs> Alright, it does work. Yeah, I don't need dodge out of it. Now keep in mind that I was below level 20, so the railgun wasn't an option for me and many of my squad members. So whenever the squad saw one, it was the main focus. Teammates were even using orbital lasers on them throughout the night. But just like the previous bug swarm, we were able to make quick work of them and save the personnel. Dude, what is going on with this bug over here? Look at this. Right over here. Do you see this? Like, what's going on with this fin? After another successful exfil, there was no time to waste to jump right back in and eradicate more Terminids. Just look how well that team is synergized. Oh my gosh, we were so ready to jump in. Feet first to defend managed democracy. Pro tip, don't panic. This time when landing, I thought it'd be a great idea to get some height advantage on these buggers. Oh my god, now here's some visuals here for you on this one. Though it quickly came to me, it was a terrible idea. Oh, wait. How do I get down from here? Just, uh, oh, no! Oh, I broke my right leg. Oh, my God, there's a bug right next to me. Even with a broken leg, Lady Liberty was on our side. We were able to defend the spot against the Terminated Swarm. No problem. We were defending managed democracy so well, Cooley and I started to wonder, is there a challenge beyond these slimy bugs? Like, rumors a new faction being brought in and stuff like that as well. Yeah, from the first game. I what they're called. All I know is that I'm from Buenos those areas and they say kill them all before diving in again we had to share some awkward handshakes uh, oh no. <laughs> no no okay no, you do you do you do it you do the emote you do the emote there we go yeah for freedom brother for the final drop we were feeling confident so we bumped up the difficulty because our helldever squad was looking for a fight and now this is more like it oh my god that's so much bile oh and remember when i said earlier that enemy attacks become stronger and stronger as the round goes on well, this mission is a perfect example of why it might be more beneficial to be concise with your drops. Because our team was just going with the flow, attacking bug nests and saving points of interest, we then stumbled upon a simple little outpost. Yeah, there was a charger, but we can make quick work of it, right? Oh no, you just made him angry. I'm going to call this spot the Valley of Doom because we must have woken up some hidden nests because we had to take on the multiple chargers and bile spewers. While the battle was tough, Oh no! Holy oh my god, god that Bowser hit me hard with that shot. We did come out on top, but right when I thought the coast was clear... Oh my god, no! We did manage to make our way to a radio tower. These towers are crucial because they will reveal all the side objective locations. Perfect for what I mentioned earlier about completing missions efficiently. Tough thing about these towers is that it takes two players to complete them. When you don't have comms like we did with our other squad mate, I had to improvise. I mean, where, uh, which direction? Um, keep turning. Yep. Keep turning. Okay, there we go. So apparently, if you turn the tower in the correct direction, you'll hear a subtle ding sound, letting you know that you've rotated the tower correctly. With 18 minutes left in our mission, the true test emerged from the shadows. Is that laser available by any chance? I do not. Oh no! It's unavailable. I think I used all the things on it. Yeah, the lack of orbital lasers is going to really hit us hard at the end of this mission, but I was still able to clutch it up with this one. You will never destroy our way of life! Oh, but they weren't done. Another Vile Titan. No way. Okay. 
Very way. Very much way. Oh, we got the secure. I don't know if we need to bother with it. We can just keep running. Or, no, Neckbone's Neckbone's going at it, dude. He's solo queuing the Bile Titan. I'm well, brother. Not having the rail gun in situations like this really hurts because you can see how much we're lighting up this Bile Titan. He's just still going strong, but teamwork always prevails. Yeah. In my previous Helldivers 2 video, I talked about how friendly fire is very much a thing in this game. And keep in mind that also applies to automated weapons as well. Oh, what was that? No! So yeah, maybe don't stand right in front of a turret meant to deal an insane amount of damage. Pro tips and tricks. So that's worth a subscribe and a like, right? But as I dropped back oh into the match, gosh. guess what was waiting for me? Another beer! No, another Bile Titan. Luckily, my team was able to take it out, but then we realized the clock was ticking. We should go for the man. Yeah, we gotta damage. go north. We got all our fun out of the way. Now we gotta play. We gotta be serious. Then Charger started to attack us out of nowhere. Oh no, Curly! Curly, oh, no! Under his wall. Stinks in there. Oh, what's happening? Oh, look, I ran over right another one. And then, of course, Bile Titan. Oh, Bile Titan, no! and a charger. We were able to slay the beast, so it was time to complete the main objective and launch this ICBM. These are one of my favorite missions to complete because there are multiple steps and some teamwork needed to launch this bad boy. Once the sequence is activated, Terminators start rushing your location, so you have to fight off just waves and waves of enemies. But once you fight them off, you're rewarded with one of the most satisfying visual displays of freedom this game has to offer. The land on me, I want to do this. Yeah. With the freedom ring. Have you seen a ICBM go off before? That's that rocket. Yeah. Have we just yeah. shot off? Because World destroyer. <laughs> Badass. With the objective complete in less than seven minutes on the mission timer, we need to head to Exfil as soon there. as possible. Though the Terminates were not about to make that happen easily. Oh my god, there's so much AI on the map. I'm, I'm frame framing up like crazy. No! Yeah, I got <sighs> No, I'm now. so dead. This landing needed to be a hot drop because I needed to make sure these bugs would not follow my squad to the Exfil location and I need some revenge. So I started blasting. Though the best way I could describe what happens at the end of this mission is just pure chaos. No, Charger, why? I'm slow. While I'm slow down. No, let me shout now. Survive. Get the samples. I'm just running. I'm getting the hell out of there. I got spears on me too. Jesus Christ. And of course, there's a wild titan. Oh no, don't, don't step on me. Don't stomp on me. Don't stomp on me. They're stomping on me. It's real fair. Oh my goodness. I'm not feeling confident. I'm feeling, I believe, but I'm like, oh, oh no, I landed right now. Oh no, I made a wrong turn. I didn't see it. Oh, that's a turn. <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking under pressure. I'm breaking under pressure. Oh my god. No. Oh my god, the Titans look right at us. Red sample though. Oh no. <laughs> no, he's right above me. <laughs> we're, we're, okay, we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna walk around underneath him. I'm in the safe zone. He can't kill me if I'm right underneath the fire. I'm gonna call an eagle strike on the zone right above the Titan. Oh no, there's a freaking charger. Sweet Liberty must have been on our side because somehow after fighting off Titans, chargers, and spewers, oh my. the shuttle began its descent. But there was one more surprise waiting for us. Oh no! Yep, our level 39 hell diver who fought valiantly against what seemed to be at times insurmountable odds was ultimately taken down by a shuttle vent. And since the mission timer was expired, our stratagems were not available, meaning we had to sadly leave our fellow hell diver behind. Okay, can you? We gotta, we gotta go jump in the jump, jump in the helicopter now. Do it now. A little bit of liberty pucker there. Oh my gosh, Liberty was very puckered. Freedom was very clenched.